how to start your business? Undertaking will always be a job that demands a large part of our time, starting with organizing, planning, and controlling our capital, human and financial resources. All this in order to achieve the objective set as a company. In this last year, many people were left without work in different parts of the world. Without the advantage of being able to find a job due to the pandemic, they decided to create their own businesses. Entrepreneurship became a work activity that quickly gained strength among young people and adults who wanted to improve their economic situation. We know that the United States is no exception for this business model. Many Latinos are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in this country. Thus, thanks to a study by Stanford University, it is estimated that in the last 10 years the number of Latino entrepreneurs in the United States increased by 34%, and that their businesses contribute around $500 billion to the economy in annual sales. If you are one of those people who wants to start a business, and you still don't know how, here we bring you 10 keys so that you can start your company in a planned and safe way. 1. Do market research. Through this type of research, you will be able to know what opportunities exist in the market to turn your idea into a successful business. You can use this information to get the competitive advantage of your company. 2. Write a business plan. Every company should have one, which will be the roadmap of how to structure, operate, and grow your business. This will also help you convince more people to work with you or even invest in your company. 3. Finance your company. Starting a business requires capital, so it is important to know how much to invest. If you don't have the necessary amount, you would have to raise funds or take out a loan. If you have a business plan, expense sheet, and financial projections, your chances of receiving a loan would increase. 4. Choose the location of your company. Whether it is a company with a physical or online presence, it is essential to take into account where we will locate it, since this decision will influence your taxes, legal obligations, and profits. 5. Choose a business structure. The legal structure that you consider for your business. Be it a sole proprietorship, partnerships, limited liability company, LLC, corporations, cooperatives, etc., will influence the registration requirements, the amount of taxes to pay, and the responsibility thereof. 6. Choose the name of your company. This is the most difficult decision for some, and least complicated for others. The name of your business should reflect the essence and spirit of your brand, and you should also make sure that no one else is using it. 7. Register your company. Once you have chosen the name, it will be time to legalize it and thus protect your brand. If your business has a different name than your personal name, you will need to register it with the federal government and perhaps your state government as well. 8. Get your federal and state tax ID. You will use your employer identification number, EIN, which is like social security for your business, in notable actions to start and grow your business, such as opening a bank account or pay taxes. Keep in mind that some states also require you to obtain a tax ID. 9. Apply for licenses and permits. If you comply with the rules, the operation of your business will never be interrupted. Remember that the licenses and permits that your company may need will depend on the sector in which you operate, its location, among other factors. 10. Open a business bank account. Last but never least, Opening a small business account can help you handle legal, tax, and other issues. Opening a bank account will be easier if you have your correct records and documents ready. Undertaking will never be an easy task. It will always require all our time and effort to see our small business become a great company. Now you just have to concentrate on managing it in the best way and making it grow. And this is all about how to start your business. We hope you have found it interesting. Now you just have to put these tips into practice. It's your turn.